Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to get Lana Del Rey's very popular California glamour look. We're gonna have so much fun and I'm gonna show you so many cool things. I'm Candy Johnson, Condé Nast Entertainment's lead beauty contributor and this season I'm doing pop star transformation. Next up, Lana Del Rey. The album art from Lana Del Rey's video games was shot outside and looks like a dreamy 70s portrait. We're gonna do a couple interesting things today to make my face look more like Lana Del Rey's. The first one is going to be using this lip suction device. This is gonna allow me to make my upper lip look larger than my lower lip, just like Lana's. Lana's skin looks like a porcelain doll, so I wanna make sure I get my skin looking as flawless as possible. I'm also gonna use facelift tapes. These are gonna help me make my jawline look more like Lana's and it actually even pulled my mouth into a similar shape like hers. First, you wanna clean the area where you're gonna put the facelift tape with rubbing alcohol. Then, you wanna make sure that you've moved all of your hair out of any area where the facelift tape could go and place your tapes down. I'm applying foundation to my face, but I'm leaving my forehead and eyebrow area alone, just for now. Lana's brows are lower than mine, so I'm gonna conceal my brows and draw mine on just like hers. First, you wanna take your spoolie brush and brush your eyebrows in an upward direction. Then I'm taking my Elmer's glue stick, preferably in this disappearing purple version, because by the time they're clear, you know that it's dry. I'm gonna apply two to three layers of the Elmer's glue. I'm taking my spatula and smoothing it down all around the eyebrow. Then you wanna make sure that you powder the brow area that you just concealed. That way when you put your foundation on, it covers it perfectly. I'm concealing the brows with a very heavy yellow base concealer. You wanna use a color that's more yellow or orange to really conceal the dark tones that are in darker eyebrows like mine. I'm applying my foundation and highlighter so that it looks like the same areas that are highlighted in Lana's picture. Down the nose, on her chin, the cheekbones, and kind of the top part of the outer corners of her upper lip. I'm taking a brown colored foundation from my palette and a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm applying some shading to the outer corners of the sides of my mouth. This is gonna make my mouth look elongated more like Lana's. I'm also taking the same dark color and going down the sides of the nose to slenderize and elongate the nose just like hers. I'm taking that dark color and going along the sides of the bridge of the nose underneath the hollow of the brow bone. I want to recreate that same deep set eye look that Lana Del Rey has. I'm also drawing down the very bottom and tip of her nose. It's almost like there is a thin line shadow on her nose that I wanted to recreate. I'm also adding some dimension to the sides of my face and definitely to the cheekbone area. Then we're going to blend all of our contouring and highlighting away. Then we're gonna take our loose powder in a sponge and press it into our skin to set our makeup and all the contouring and highlighting we just did. I'm just taking some peachy pink blush, applying it on the apples of the cheek, and then blending it backward toward the sides of the face. I'm starting with a black eye pencil at the waterline. Since this is a deep, dark, smoky look, I'm taking a black eye pencil and drawing liner along the whole top of the lash line. I'm also putting a little bit on the outer corners of the lower lid. I'm gonna take my smudgy brush and blend that outer corner so whatever shadow we put on top is gonna to be the darkest it possibly can be. With a thin flat concealer brush, I'm taking a little bit of my concealer and applying it on the inner corners of the eye. I'm doing this because I wanna put a highlight color right there. I'm taking a frosty, light taupey pink peach and applying it at the inner corners. I'm using my dark bronzy gold and smoothing it and blending it all around that area where I just put the lightest highlight. I'm taking a small flat brush and black eyeshadow and pressing it right on top of where we put our eyeliner earlier. With that same flat eyeshadow brush, I'm really taking the black and working it just into the crease. I'm using my pewter gold color eyeshadow and really going at the crease above the inner corner of the eye. It helps create the shadow of a more deep set eye. Now I'm taking a taupey gray shadow and a thin fluffy brush and really starting to blend from the crease upwards and outwards. You always wanna make sure that you leave a little highlight right underneath the brows. I wanted to add a little bit of color to this look and not just make it a bunch of grays. So I took some plums and a slight purple shimmer and applied it right on top of the highlight area that we put down earlier. 
This is gonna give a fun pop of color that's gonna slightly match her flower headband she's gonna be wearing later. Now it's time to curl our lashes, apply some primer, and several coats of mascara. I'm gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush and my black shadow and push it up against the bottom lower lashes. In order to get that almost sleepy, sad-eyed look that Lana Del Rey has, you really wanna shade that outer corner of the eye. Now it's time to fill in our Lana Del brows. I'm gonna be using a very dark brown gel brow color and fill in the brows to match her shape as close as I can. And then I'm gonna apply a peachy shade lipstick all over for that kind of 70s look she has in her photo. I'm using a nude peach lip liner to fill in the lips as a base. Then I'm gonna go back in with a slightly darker brown lip liner to actually help create the same lip shape that she has. Now it's time to lace up my skates, grab my flower crown, and hit the streets of LA. you thought it was awesome make sure that you go to glamour's youtube channel to see more videos like this and to see some outtakes and more behind the scenes roller skating of me go to my channel candy johnson at youtube follow everywhere same name twitter youtube everywhere follow around and we'll see you in the next video bye